Afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Boyd, a.k.a. The Valiant One, from everyone's favorite website, ComicCollectorLive.com, and I'm continuing my tutorial series today. It's actually, you can consider this a part two to one I've already done. I'm going to show you how to restore your data from a backup without even using the CCL software. You know, sometimes people will call us up and say, we can't open our software because our data's corrupt and, and we don't know what to do. I have a backup of my data and I'm, I'm so scared I'm going to lose all my information. Today I'm going to show you how to restore that data without even using the software. In order to do that, I'm going to have to show you a couple things. First off, obviously, you need your computer. You don't have to have your software open. We're going to pretend that the problem is we can't get the software open because the data that's currently in there is all messed up. Right over here, we have our old, or I'm sorry, this is our backup that we need to restore from. As you can see, it's dated here and everything. It's our most recent. Let's say we've moved that over from a thumb drive or whatever, and it's now, it's now held locally on our computer. So we're going to go to my documents which is located here and you'll see a file folder called mid 10 media and then you'll see one that's called data and then you're gonna see some files in here now the one that's currently in here this comic data sdf that's the one that we need to replace we gotta get rid of that um, you may not see file extensions let's say you have just stuff that says comic data comic data comic data placeholder uh, and that's a problem. You need to be able to see what these file extensions are. In this case, this is .log, .sdf, yada, yada, yada. So you have to go to View. You have to go to Options, the Change Folder and Search Options, and then go to View under Folder Options. And you'll see a place here that you can unclick. It says Hide Extension for Known File Types. If you unclick that and hit Apply, you'll be able to see these file extensions. And the comic data.sdf is the one we need to adjust. So, because this is the one that's given us the problem. So, what we need to do is we need to rename this one. Basically, we just need to rename it something other than .sdf. We need to rename this, let's say we're going to call this one Frank. Okay, it changed icons a little bit. So now that's an old, uh, that's an old, um, one that we don't want anymore. And you can change this to anything, really, because this is not something we want to do, but the we just put that there for fun. We're going to drag over our backup, plop that in place right there. It's going to have a weird extension. See that? It's a .ccl. Now we need to rename this comic data, just like it, just like it was spelled out in the system. And we're going to change that from a .ccl to a .sdf. You see that? And when we do. It's going to ask you a little thing here to say yes, and then voila. See that? There's a little icon that it was in there. We're going to minimize this, and then we're going to open your CCL software because now the information's in there, and your CCL software should open with the backup information poured in there like an empty cup put in water. And, of course, we're using two monitors, and this is over here, so I'm going to drag this over here so you can see it. Welcome to my software, guys. Some people, I'm going to show you this too real quick. Some people like to uh, back up their, um, their information on their desktop. I'm going to show you how to back that up too while I'm here. There's the gear option. You click that. You're going to see your options here. You want to choose location paths. Backup path. As you can see here, I like to have my data back up to my desktop, and that's every time it closes. If you don't like that, you can unclick that. I recommend you do that. That's just me. You may be different, but that's what I do. So every time I close my software, it's going to back that information up, and it's going to be held locally on my system. So I'm going to hit OK. And that is what I wanted to show you. That is how to manually restore your information to CCL without opening the software. And that is my tutorial for today. But wait, there's more. You need to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash comic collector live. You need to follow us on Twitter at CCL comic collect. And you also need to uh, check out our YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe to that. If you're watching this video, you're already here. Just make sure you click that little subscribe button. And, of course, make sure you go to www.comiccollectorlive.com, your number one source for managing, organizing, buying, selling, 
your favorite comic books, action figures, trade paperbacks, and more. I am Steve Boyd at AKA The Valiant One on ComicCollectorLive.com. If you have any questions, you can also send us an email, helpdesk at ComicCollectorLive.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the flippity.